Mod engineers must be capable of making various calculations including capacities and volumes of tanks, drill string and well pours, circulation system, circulation times and number of other important calculations. Understanding and using of all these calculations are all part of being a mod engineer. If you want to know these calculations, stay around and let's jump into engineering calculations and get going. I'm Mohamed Shura and I'm here to help. <laughs> Welcome back to English version of Basic Mod School with Muhammad Shura. But before we start, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications now. Hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to be part of the school. So let's get started. Today I just want to walk you through engineering calculations for mod engineers. So let's jump in through these calculations. As we talked in the previous video, which will now appear in suggested videos about track components in section of circulation system, which is consists of several parts, one of it is mod tanks. So let's talk about it. But firstly, we should know that there are three main shapes of tanks. You can see it on the rig location: rectangular, cylindrical as horizontal position, and cylindrical in vertical position. In our mod system, we just deal with rectangular shape. As you see, any rectangular tank has length symbolized by L, width symbolized by W, and height symbolized by H. And if it contains mod, so we have mod level height symbolized by M. So let's learn how to calculate capacity and volume of mod tanks. But firstly, you should, should know what's the difference between capacity and volume. The capacity of mud tanks will bore annulus inside of drill string or any other tool is the volume that tank could hold if it were full or the maximum possible volume. The capacity of oil field tanks is usually measured in barrel, gallon, or cubic meter. While volume refer to how much mud is actually in mud tanks, well bore, annulus, or any inside pipe of drill string. So now we can calculate the capacity of rectangular pit using all units in feet. So the volume will be uh, cubic feet. Okay. So the equation is length times width times height, all units in feet. And as we said before, the capacity of oil field tanks is measured in barrel, gallon, cubic meter. So we need to convert it from cubic feet to bar. That's by divided the previous results by 5.61, as you see in the equation. You can multiply length, uh, width, and the height, and divide it by 5.61. And also, you can express it in barrel bare foot by multiplied length by width divided by 5.61. That's because the height equal 1. But if you need to calculate the actual mud volume, V mud in tanks can be calculated using the mud level height, which symbolized by M by this equation l times w times m divided by 5.61 okay so we already now finished calculation of capacity and volume of mud tanks let's jump into calculation of world bore volume assume that our well already drilled and we have several sections cast and open hole 20 inch from ground level to here and open hole with bit size 12 and a quarter inch from here to here and also open, open hole with bed size eight and a half inch from here to TD. So we have three sections, one case and two open hole. If we need to calculate the volume of each section, it's very simple by the following equation. By using the diameter of hole or any di inner diameter of casing square divided by the most famous constant we deal with in the field of drilling 1029.4 uh, multiplied by L it's the length of this section by feet also the result will be in barrel the volume will be in barrel for example if we need to calculate the capacity of the first section 20 inch is equal uh, 20 uh, 20 inch square divided by 1029.4 
multiplied by the length from ground uh, level to to where to here or here yes yes to here because the second section start from here and we can apply it for all sections also we can calculate the capacity or volume inside well bore expressed in barrel per foot by divided uh, the diameter square of hole divided by 1029.4 as we said before the length equal one as we said before in the first video the definition of drilling is a cutting process that using a drill bit to cut or enlarge a hole or of circular cross section in earth layers so you can calculate the capacity of drill pipe and drill collar with the same equation capacity of drill pipe or drill collar inner diameter of pipe divided by 10 29.4 multiplied by length of drill pipe or drill collar and also you can express the barrel per foot by inner diameter square of pipe divided by 10 29.4 multiplied by one so length of one foot Okay, all of previous calculation in case of hole without drill string. But if you run in hole drill string, so there is another parameter should be calculated. It's called annulus volume, which is defined as the space surrounding any cylindrical object placed inside another, such as the space surrounding any tubular object placed in a well bore, sometimes termed the annular space. If we suppose that swell bore and uh, this is drill string, so the annulus is the space between them, which mark it here in red color. So the space between the drill string and the well bore is annulus. Casing and the drill string is annulus. And the well bore and the casing is annulus, which used in cement job calculations for, am for amount of cement required to cement the casing. So we can calculate it using this formula inside diameter of well, inside square inside diameter square of well minus outer diameter of pipe divided by 1029.4 multiplied by length of this section okay there are important parameters should be calculated called the metal displacement but firstly we should know what the meaning of metal displacement metal displacement is the volume of mud that is expelled from the well when the drill string or casing is running into the hole likewise it's the volume of mud required to fill the well when the pipe is pulled from the hole displacement normally represents only the volume of the pipe the mud inside the pipe is a capacity because the pipe fills with mud as pipe goes into the hole or during circulation. For special situations such as when the bed is plugged or when floating casing into the well, the capacity must be added to the displacement of the pipe. An estimate of the drill string displacement V pipe displacement can be made using the outer diameter and the inner diameter of drill pipe and drill collar using this formula outer diameter square of pipe minus inner diameter square of pipe divided by 1029.4 multiplied by length of this pipe one of the most important calculation related to mud engineer is mud output calculations mud pump is one of the most important component of circulation circulation system as we talked before in red component video mud pumps circulate mud under pressure during the drilling operations mud pumps are piston pumps they have either two or three pistons that move forward and back Backward inside cylinders called liners. One complete forward and uh, backward cycle is called one stroke and is equal to the rotation of crankshaft. So one stroke per minute equal one RBM, which stands for revolution per minute. There are two main types of main mud bumps. Two piston bumps are called duplex bumps, and the three piston bumps are the triplex bumps. Triplex bumps are more commonly used today. This is view of triplex uh, mud bump from different size. Now we will watch an especially important video for triplex pump.
as we see in Treblex Bomb, the pistons on Treblex Mod Bomb work only on the forward forward stroke and they generally have a short strokes from 6 to 12 inch range and they operate the rates in the 60 to 120 stroke per minute range. There are two types of acting of bomb single acting and double acting. Single acting bombs, the piston on mud bomb works only on the forward stroke. On the other case, on double acting bomb, the pistons on mud bomb work in both directions, so the rear cylinder has the bomb route moving through its swift volume and occupying some volume. Mud bomb output can be calculated from some tables and has units of barrel per stroke or gallon per stroke. The actual circulation rate, also called bomb output, has unit of barrel per minute or gallon per minute. If you need to calculate the actual circulating rate, it's determined by multiplying the bomb output by the bomb rate, stroke per minute, and the volumetric efficiency. This efficiency is often expressed as a percent and can range from 85 to 100 percent. Modern mud bombs using charging centrifugal bombs to maintain a positive pressure on the mud bomb section to achieve better efficiency. So, if we need to calculate it using this formula, inside diameter square of liner times length of stroke times efficiency in decimal divided by 4116. So, the bomb output will be in barrel per stroke. If you know number of strokes per minute, so you can calculate bomb output barrel per minute by counting the numbers of strokes per one minute. So you can calculate it by bomb output barrel per stroke times number of strokes per minute. So the bomb output will be bomb uh, barrel per minute. And you can convert it from barrel per minute to gallon per minute by multiplied by 42. The question now, why we need all these calculations? To calculate the lag time, which defined as the time taken for cutting to reach the surface from the bottom of, of the weld. Bottom up time or lag time in minutes equal volume of alunus divided by bump out bot barrel per minute. Bottoms up we can calculate in, in strokes not in minute by bottoms up time in minute times bump rate stroke per minute. With this, we have finished the basics of ray component and in the next video, we will get to know functions of drilling fluids that will help you to understand more about drilling fluids. And this is an example about the calculation, about all calculation we're talking about it today. Solve it and check the results with me. I wish you all the best and thank you for your kind attention. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.